uh, hi everyone so in this video we are going to talk uh, further on the nestjs so in the previous video we have just uh, seen the basic setup right we included the user module and then user module we are adding in the app module and when we starting it npm run start dev so this is our package.json and from here we can just do npm run start and we wanted to run in the watch mode so we can just do npm run start dev and we can see all these routes are up now and we can just test them using local host uh, sorry using curl command right or uh, host plus user because there is a user route and this is internal server error coming because i created this explicit exception from that controller you can see i am returning this uh, internal server exception okay so in this video what we are going to talk about is we are going to talk about the building blocks of nestjs which is about uh, creating exception filters interceptors controllers providers services and then making our application by creating these sub modules root modules and all these things so in future like in the coming videos we will be creating a separate separate module like logger module database module redis module mongoose module and swagger module and we will be combining all these modules together and we will be importing a lot of things in the app module okay we are going to write a modular approach but there are some common things which we can have and which we can put in the core like we are going to have filters the route guards interceptors middlewares and pipes so these are actually nothing but a building blocks for our nestjs in the first step we already talked about controllers so controllers we have to create a mapping like here we are using user controller and uh, app controller and how we are importing them our main module user module is importing this controller so all the routes which are defined inside it that will be exposed so this controller is initialized with the user and here we have http get put post you can see when we are running it so we can see there are three requests coming up http get put post right all the three requests are coming uh, let me just fix this particular guard issue okay now in these building blocks what we are going to have a we created a controller so controller is just a controller annotation you put in the controller class okay and the route definition cats so it will be a cats controller now you can keep defining okay this is a get put post delete all these methods and using cli you can create a controller like this provider is another like uh, we are creating services so in the mvc application we started from the routes from the controller and then controller will call the service method so there will be a dependency injection will be happening services will be injected in the controllers and controllers will be able to call the services services will be responsible for getting the data and returning a response to us okay so something like simple service we have created here the cat service and here also we already have created some services basic services like this is I will have annotation injectable and it will have a sub methods so that those methods will be calling from the controllers you inject the service here using dependency injection and now we can call these methods using user service dot get hello uh, or some methods which are defined in the service so services will return the data and we are injecting the services inside a controller and controllers are nothing but the routes we have so routes will receive the data from here so in the next video we'll talk about the other uh, other building blocks which are modules filters interceptors and guards 